Hello everybody, I am the Craftacular Creator and today I am sharing a process video for Craft Ruler episode 184. I created a teaching scene with a well-known professor of a magic school. In this video I will show how I remove unwanted embossing powder and I will share another tip for adding vellum to a card. The parameters can be seen on the screen. For this card I used the Kindred Stamps Masters of Magic, Lawn Fawn Vellum, and a piece of patterned paper from the Lawn Fawn Favourite Flannel range. I have also added in a shot of the Copic colours that I intend to use to colour the image. Other items used will be listed throughout the video and can be seen in the description below. I started this card with a little illustration. In order to fit the parameters, I wanted a teacher and a classroom scene. I found an image of a chalkboard with a magic spell drawn on it and thought this would be perfect. Here I draw the images in pencil on a piece of black cardstock and then go over my HB pencil in a white Prisma pencil to give it that chalkboard effect. I kept this part in as I quite enjoy watching my hand drawing on a piece of black cardstock. For the random element, I wanted to heat emboss a sentiment on vellum and wrap it around the card. Quick tip, if you get embossing powder where you do not want it to be, a small paintbrush is a good tool to have to brush it away. I've kept in the magic of heat embossing for you to enjoy. I wanted a magical background for my card and I had a panel of craft cardstock which I had hot foiled with a Lawn Fawn Starry Skies hot foil plate previously. Here I measure and score my vellum panel and I'll be using a tape runner to adhere it to the back of the card. I find this is one of the best methods to use vellum in card making without having to worry about how to stick it down. I lay out the rest of my images on the card, including the professor, which I will be shortly stamping and colouring. As I colour, I will tell you about Craft Roulette. It is the ultimate YouTube card making game show on almost every Friday evening at 6.10pm Central Time in the US, 12.10am UK time. Mary Gunn, the hostess, spins the wheel, four craft parameters are chosen, guest crafters react, collect supplies and then spend a while crafting and chatting. It allows a great community of crafters from all over the world to get together via YouTube, the Craft Roulette Facebook page and the amazing craftroulette.live website. During this clip you will see a portion of a hex chart that I often use when choosing my colours but this is the first time I've mentioned it in a video. You can find the link for the hex chart in the description below. In this instance I used the hex chart to match the green to the patterned paper that I wanted to use. Time to assemble. I use Scotch 3M foam tape to attach the picture panel to the patterned paper. 
and I use liquid glue for the image. Finally, I add some embellishment with some black star gems. You may be shocked now, but there is no sweeping hand, ta-da, for this card. In my excitement to finish it, I forgot, but I promise the ta will be back very soon. I'm very pleased with the end result of this card. It meets the parameters nicely and uses one of my favourite fictional teachers. It's not the first time this famous actress has appeared on my, one of my cards either. Bonus points if you know who I mean. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I will be back soon.